commercial papers they were started in 1990 commercial papers ab commercial papers mein what is it that you have kon issue karta hai they are not issued by rbi they are issued by corporate issued by corporate kon corporates that have at least 4 crore net worth 4 crore net worth they can issue commercial papers Now let me give an example this is a company let's say reliance so reliance has a net worth of more than 4 crore and this company needed needs money reliance needs money let's say reliance needs 50 crore rupees so they will create a paper 50 crore ka paper and it will be for less than 1 year and they will sell this paper to these investors to these investors investor kon ho sakta hai it can be a bank it can be an individual it can be a, another company anybody so you are issuing this commercial paper to these investors these investors will give you the money fine तो आपको 50 करोड़ मिल गया और आपने कमर्शियल पेपर दे दिया नाउ दिस इज इशूड बाई कमर्शियल दीज कॉर्पोरेट दीज प्राइवेट कॉर्पोरेट तो कमर्शियल पेपर में दिस इज हाउ इट इज डन यू कैन टेक द मनी फ्रॉम दीज इन्वेस्टर्स एंड गिव दम अ कमर्शियल पेपर बट ऑन दिस कमर्शियल पेपर यू विल सी दैट देर इज नो इंटरेस्ट रेट इस पर भी देर इज नो इंटरेस्ट रेट वाई बिकॉज दे आर इशूड एट अ डिस्काउंट दे आर इशूड एट अ डिस्काउंट एंड दे आर रिडीम दैट पार redeem that part matlab kya iska for example you have reliance reliance issue karega kya issue karega commercial paper suppose commercial paper un kitne ka hai 100 ka they have issued the commercial paper at 90 at a discount and the bank has now got this commercial paper for rupees 90 only par ye 100 ka hai later on reliance will take the paper back after some time at par value at 100 so you are giving it at 90 but you are purchasing it at you are repurchasing it at 100 so that is a discount rate of 10% which is the bank's profit fine so ye bhi aapka isi tarike se issue hota hai they are issued at a discount and redeemed at par that is why commercial papers are discounted instrument discounted instruments that means they are issued at a discount they are issued at a discount now what is the level kitna commercial paper kitne rupaye ka nikala ja sakta hai minimum minimum value is 5 lakh and its multiples 5 lakh and its multiples so 5 lakh 10 lakh 15 lakh 20 lakh 25 lakh that is your commercial paper but they are not secured they are unsecured unsecured instrument unsecured instrument what do i mean by unsecured instrument suppose this is reliance reliance has issued a commercial paper let's say to axis bank to axis bank and axis bank now has the commercial papers of reliance and has given a lot of money to reliance but reliance ka bankruptcy ho gaya reliance became insolvent reliance bankrupt ho ke khatam ho gaya so is commercial paper ka kya karenge ye bhi khatam ho gaya uske sath so if the company dies the commercial paper will die so that is why they are known as they are unsecured investment they are unsecured instrument okay okay after that you have commercial bill now see let me give an example suppose this is person a this is person b now they are trading with each other aapas mein unka chal raha hai mamla now this person b has given some raw material to person a raw material So he has sold him some raw material. 
and the raw material is worth 1 lakh rupee so he has given him a raw material worth 1 lakh rupee and in return person a he does not have money person a ke paas abhi paisa nahi hai he does not have money in the form of cash uske paas abhi nahi hai so what he has decided is he has told him that i will return this 1 lakh rupees you know in 3 months let's say i will return you 1 lakh rupees in 3 months so he creates a bill he creates a bill so what he actually does is he creates a bill jahan par likha hota hai that person a has to give to person b this 1 lakh rupees after 3 months and this bill is taken taking by this particular person b this bill is known as a trade bill a trade simple aapki bill hai trade bill hai. now let's say it is 1 lakh rupees and person b will get this 1 lakh rupees after 3 months but after 15 or 20 days person b immediately needs the money usko paisa chahiye aur immediately paisa chahiye he cannot wait for 3 months what can he do he now has a commercial he now has a trade bill uske paas ye bill hai what he can do is he can take this trade bill and he can go to let's say a bank punjab national bank he goes to a bank and he tells the bank that i have a trade bill and the trade bill is worth 1 lakh rupees so i have to take this 1 lakh rupees from that person after 3 months so this is worth 1 lakh rupees so i will sell you this trade bill but i will sell you at a discount let's say i will only sell it you sell you at 90000 rupees you just give me this 90000 rupees and you take the trade bill and that trade bill is worth of 1 lakh so b ne bank ko trade bill bej diya at a discount now this trade bill has now become a commercial bill it has now become a commercial bill. it has now become a commercial when b goes to a bank and sells that trade bill to the bank that trade bill becomes a commercial bill these commercial bills were started we started trading in commercial bills in 1990 1990 okay so these commercial bills are again discounted instrument these are discounted instruments examples of commercial bill is like a demand bill a clean bill an inland bill a foreign bill a khundi etc these are your types of commercial bill.